Well, good day, good day. All set up at the Pilliga. It's absolutely beautiful. So the Pilliga's been on the list since about uh, 2018. Drove past here and um, thought, geez, that looks pretty good in there. Read a bit about it and uh, marked it on the map. So finally here, some four years later. Michelle's just cooking some brunch. Call it brunch. Call it brunch. We skipped brekkie this morning because we wanted to get to the uh, the discovery center for this place. We missed it yesterday by about 15 minutes. So we just camped in uh, a little town called uh, Baradine or Baradine. I'm not Baradine. quite sure how you say it, but we pulled up there at the um, at the showgrounds. Beautiful uh, little camp spot on some nicely mowed lawn. And yeah, now we're out in the bush. Relatively remote, I guess, but. Um, Roads in here aren't in too bad condition. A couple of spots, a bit questionable. They're doing a bit of work on the National Park. Looks like they're gonna be um, doing the whole uh, numbered sites booking system. So at the moment it's still uh, just wherever, but there's, uh, I think there's five sites here or four sites. Four sites, designated sites with new signage. So um, that's obviously coming. But so we're camped up at a little place called the Salt Caves. And we'll go on a little walk probably tomorrow to have a look at that. And Cameron probably doesn't pick it up. But just up there, there's a uh, fire tower. So you can climb up that, no worries, and um, get a good view across the top of the canopy. And um, that should be pretty good. We might go up there at sunset, possibly every day. Yeah. A couple of little jobs to do. Got to change the tail light bulb. Uh, these ladders are getting a bit sticky. Just at the bottom where they get rained on. So uh, it's going to be a can of WD-40. You can kind of see a bit of like scraping there. It's got grit and stuff in there. So it makes it actually um, pretty hard to adjust and pack away. And then uh, we've been noticing we've been on them and you think they're locked in and then you start walking up it and it collapses on you. So it's a bit how you're going. So we'll fix that. I'm going to try to mount this, uh, mount this quad lock back with some glue because it keeps falling off the windscreen. It's bloody annoying, especially when you're trying to navigate your way into a place like this where there's heaps of fire break roads and stuff. So Michelle was holding the phone there like she was the quad lock, but um, but anyway, hopefully sort that out. And uh, yeah, got good uh, good solar day. So I might even, um, we're just gonna relax a bit and do a bit of housekeeping and I might even pull the laptop out and do some video editing. See how we go. For tomorrow, we'll get our working boot, walking boots on and um, have a look around this place. Might even go for a drive down the bottom end. We were kind of saving that for the um, for possibly in a few weeks time. After we go to the Warren Bungles next, we're booked in there for a week as well. And uh, we might go down there on the, on the flip side of that, but um, the ranger was kind of saying that probably doesn't really need that much of a stay, but it's just, it's just so cheap to stay there. $6 booking fee for um, one week. So it's almost like free camping, so. But anyway, it's a bit warm, back in the singlets and shorts, but uh, it's very cool in the shade, so nice little breeze blowing. No, fly star. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, wait right. Till, wait till I cut the bacon. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, check back in later. And the day is about an hour and a half from sunset. And uh, it's getting a lot of fly. But... We will. Up the tower. <laughs> that's what I that's what we're both keen to do, so that's Michelle Jesus Christ oh. <laughs> Poor Michelle gets absolutely smashed by mozzies. And I'm so blessed because they hardly bother me. <laughs> so anyway, poured myself a rum just now. Are we walking with rum and wine? I'm walking to this one. Okay. Up there we go. The lookout tower is actually uh Constructed on top of the uh, salt caves. We'll have a closer look at this tomorrow. But uh, from the information board, it um, suggests that they were uh, a lot deeper than what they are now. And apparently when that was put on top, I don't know if it was that particular one because it's changed a few times in history, the old fire tower, it uh, caved in. And uh, no one's dug it out. So that's pretty mad, but people used to come and collect columns of salt and take it home to help cure their meat. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. But up there we're going. Oh, 
crikey. It's not that high off the ground, maybe 50 metres. It's a fire out yonder. But it just overlooks this entire forest. 360 degree views. It's a bit windier up here. <laughs> no bugs. Over there in the distance is Warren Bungles. That's where we are next week. But yeah, this is the Pilliga. The Pilliga Forest. Absolutely unreal. And it's famous because it's the, uh, it's the largest native forest west of the Great Dividing Range. So it's pretty special. But it has had its fair, fair share of bushfire. Unreal. Hey, Doug. Sure. Ching ching. Putting this nice new fire pit to good use. A beautiful evening. Well, day two at the Pilliga, and uh, we've got our walking shoes on, and we're going to just go for this uh, little walk down to uh, a little dam, which the uh, ranger at the information centre said that uh, it's full of uh, birds and other wildlife. Probably not this time of day, but maybe the birds. But uh, yeah, a lot of local wildlife go there and uh, drink of an afternoon. We'll go check it out anyway, and then we'll come back and we'll roam around these salt caves. Bit of an overcast day today, so it's not quite as hot. But anyway, down to the dam. Another thing about all this uh, ordinary weather, all the wildflowers are just out. You get little patches like this all through the scrub. Purples, whites. Yellows. Yellows, oranges, it's just bloody beautiful. It's just a pleasant little stroll through this scrubland duck. It's beautiful. Here's a little dam. Pretty nice. Good. Little roads just fully washed away over there. All right, and here we are at the salt caves. Climb right up in there if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. <laughs> it's all wet on the ground. Heaps of midges. Oh. What's your head, Fred? <laughs> Ew. So these caves used to have little salt columns like stalactites from the ceiling. And it used to be a lot deeper until there was a cave in at some point in time, apparently. And everyone used to come here and grab the uh, Grab the salt off the off the uh, ceiling and take them home to uh, help age their meat. And cool off, they come here. To and cool, cool off. off, yeah. Some people have scratched their names onto the ceiling as far back as 1949, 1948, 1974, 66. Unreal. I'm not sure if that's. Uh, that's too accurate, but 1833. Not sure about that. Pretty mad though. There's heaps of little writing actually, now that I'm looking for it. Mm -hmm. Scratched in. It's all these little walls. Up to the next little cave. Oh, there's a little entry up in there. That little 
little bench top and the cave floor. Just holding on, that'll drop down soon. It's just holding at that other end there. Oh, well, here we are, back up at the fire tower again. Michelle did a bit of exercise on this thing today. She ran up and down it 12 times. So she's feeling a little bit sore, aren't you darling? Yes. Hey? It's the only place you can get reception. And uh, coming into Christmas, we thought we'd probably best be, uh, best be well prepared for our next few weeks bookings. So, uh, just coming up here to sort of sort that out at the moment and take in this beautiful view. It's been a weird day weather wise. It's been looking like showers, even been feeling like showers to be honest, but it hasn't. It kind of is over that way. But uh, all our weather is pretty much coming from that direction. So, we're looking pretty good. Anyway, get these bookings sorted. We're thinking about staying in this uh, general area of about uh, one or two hundred radius. There seems to be uh, plenty here to see. So we'll sort that out. 